Don't I look so good right now? What do you think I'm doing? What do you think I have this on my face for? Hmm? 10 points to anybody who can tell me what I am doing to my face right now. You guys ready for it? I am doing a Cosmolon peel. This is the home pack. And I got this because my dear friend and board certified dermatologist, Dr. Nina Desai, she is in Los Angeles. She has been wanting me to do Cosmolon on my face for the longest time to deal with my melasma. You guys know my melasma journey. I mean, the biggest issue for me is that it is triggered by heat and I live in hot places. Like I'm always either in Miami or Los Angeles I love heat, but my skin does not. So no matter what I do, I always have melasma. I'm always dealing with it in varying degrees. So she's been wanting me to do Cosmolon. This is not the MD version. So it's strong, but it's not going to be as strong as the one that you get in office. Nina really wants me to do the strong one, but the downtime on that one is a little bit longer and I just don't have the time to do this. I actually had to carve out two weeks of my life to do this one because you guys are going to see this whole process. I'm going to walk you through the whole process over the next couple of weeks of doing doing this. And because I get friend benefits, because I've known Nina for so long, she sent me home with this. And then she got on FaceTime with me right before. And she walked me through this entire process. She's walked me through it before, but just as a reminder, she kind of walked me through it just before doing this. Hi, Nina. Hi, Susan. I am so excited to see your results after the Cosmo on PL. Me too. Thank you. <laughs> So now I'm going to do it with you on camera. In this pack, you actually get a Cosmolon 2 and some kind of a cream that I have not read, Melon Recovery and a sunscreen, because obviously you need sunscreen. But that's not what I'm going to be using today. Today I'm going to be using this Cosmolon 1, which is the stronger piece of the, the whole thing. Before I do that, I have to degrease my face using the oil removing solution, which apparently has like alcohol in it and other things like acetone probably, I'm guessing. I don't know this for sure. Don't quote me on that, but I'm going to assume this because I've had peels done before. There's instructions, all of that. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so step one, degreasing. And I actually, I just looked at the back of the box and I was right. Alcohol and acetone, which always freaks people out because I think a lot of people associate acetone, especially with, you know, like nail polish remover. It's a really great degreaser for your face because that's what we're doing. We're degreasing it. Oh, it smells awful. Oh, look at that shiny bald spot right there on my eyebrow. Ooh, the fumes. Try not to breathe that in. Yeah, you're trying to make sure it's so clean and dry that the, sorry, <laughs> these fumes are so strong. You're making sure it's so clean and dry. That way the peel will really adhere to the skin because I'm going to be wearing it between like eight to 10 hours. Actually, I need to text Nina after I've been wearing it for a little while and she's going to tell me how long to wear it. But between eight to 10 hours of wearing this mask. So it's a long time. I'm going to put a little bit more and then we'll get started. Whoa. Pew. We're going in with Cosmolon 1. You can see it looks like peanut butter. And that peanut butter looking consistency is gonna be on my face for the entire day. So I, I had to give my husband a heads up. Most people apply it with a big popsicle stick and it was the one thing I was not prepared for. So I'm gonna use this. I'm actually gonna use the end of this to apply it. Ooh, look, that's satisfying. Oh, you know what? There's one thing I need to do. Oopsies. Before I apply it, I am a little sensitive right here. I got perioral dermatitis last year, so I'm gonna go in with this from Prequel. It is their skin utility ointment. It's petrolatum based, so it's gonna protect that little area. You know, the main ingredient in this Cosmolon one is actually azelaic acid, but it's a high amount of it. I don't know how much, so I'm not too worried about this just because azelaic acid was one of the things suggested. I am gonna put a little bit here. Not a lot, I don't want it to like bother my eyes. There you go. Now we'll get started. So dipping in, ooh, and I'm gonna just apply it like this. I don't want it to fall down. So the main ingredient, like I was saying earlier, is azelaic acid. This spreads much easier than I thought it was going to. You want a fairly thick layer apparently because it's gonna dry like a clay mask. Azelaic acid, there's phytic acid, there's retinol palmitate in here and other ingredients. And I don't think in this, I did not see hydroquinone or besides the retinol pomate, I didn't see like a stronger vitamin A ingredient, a retinoid, which is interesting to me. So it's really the azelaic acid that's doing the heavy lifting apparently. There's niacinamide in here too, which I think niacinamide is actually a really great ingredient for discoloration. People don't give it enough credit for that. 
You know, I'm going to do the rest off camera and I'll be right back. I have the mask on. Not too bad. It's already starting to tingle a little bit. I went the thickest in the areas where my melasma is bad. And Nina told me, you know, not to, to try not to talk too much because it's going to start to dry and she doesn't want it to flake off. So I'm going to just watch TV or something, edit some videos <laughs> and try to be as quiet as possible. It's already starting to tingle. If you've ever used azelaic acid, it, when you use high percentages of it, it can feel kind of tingly. So that's how it's feeling. But it, again, it has other ingredients in it. So that combination is kind of strong. So I'm going to wear it for the next eight to 10 hours. Again, I'm going to text Nina and see what she thinks. And then I am going to come back when I am rinsing it off and tell you how it's been. All right. It has been eight hours since I put this on. You can see where I move my mouth like to eat and stuff that it started to kind of peel off. Nina had said to me to save like a little bit in that pot to apply it in those areas. But honestly, I didn't have much pigmentation in that area. So I just let it be. And this only started to happen in the last hour or so. Like it started kind of peeling right here in these little places. So I'm not that concerned about it. I have a brand new face halo that I'm going to wet so I can use it to help remove all of this and then I'll show you what my skin looks like underneath. Okay, this is how my skin looks. Not bad at all. Remember, this is the at-home version. The MD version is the professional version, so that has hydroquinone in it, probably a high amount of it, and also a high amount of Retin-A in it. This does not. So it's like other ingredients that are not as intense, but it still felt pretty tingly, just not bad. Like you can see my skin isn't really that red. The kit comes with this melon recovery. It actually feels really nice on the skin. I was kind of rubbing it into my hand, but it has a really strong fragrance, which I think is odd for post recovery for your skin. So I'm going to use my own stuff. I'll be right back. So instead, what I'm going to use tonight is this serum from Dew. This is Deliverance. It has, I want to say like four or 5% niacinamide in it, which I think is a really great ingredient to apply post treatment. So I'm going to put that on and I'll probably use this the rest of the time. My skin actually feels really good. Nina was saying that there's a, even a chance that I won't peel with this, but I still have Cosmolon 2, which is essentially the same ingredients to keep applying over the next couple of months, actually. Next, Tolarian. I actually just popped this one open, let's see. I like the Tolarian Ultra Soothing Repair Moisturizer when my skin is sensitive. My hands are greasy right now from the other lotion. I like applying it when my skin is sensitive because it doesn't have any preservatives, no fragrance, nothing. And I'm a fan of preservatives. It does have a preservative system though. And that's why it's in this kind of a container. It's an airtight baggie. You don't have to worry about anything getting in. So it's great for ultra sensitive skin. It's honestly my favorite for ultra sensitive skin. I keep it with me when I travel because of that. I'm gonna do one more thing. I'm gonna take this Skin Utility Ointment from Prequel. I'm just gonna use a little bit and then maybe right before I go to bed, I'll use a little bit more. So just like a little bit, warm that up and kind of slug my skin. This is really light, so it doesn't feel super heavy. Oh yeah, my skin feels great. So the at-home kit maybe isn't as strong, but let's see how I feel in the morning. I might be singing a different tune, so we'll see. That was day one of my at-home Cosmolon. Okay, it is the next morning. I just got out of the shower and Look at that. The at-home version of Cosmolon, for me, remember this is my personal experience, everyone is different, but for me, this is not a big deal at all. You can see I'm a little bit more pink in this area. That's where I put a thicker layer of the Cosmolon, but because it doesn't have the MD version ingredients, like the hydroquinone in it, the Retin-A in it, it's really not intense. And I was getting myself really worried about it to the point where I waited so long to do this. I was like, I must have two weeks set aside to be able to do this. But you know what? If this is the worst of it, then this is not a big deal. And if I see a big difference after about a month, then maybe I'll start to do this a little bit more regularly. I'm not sure. That said, it's less than 24 hours afterwards. I don't know if I'm going to peel. Nina doesn't think I'm going to peel. So that's good news. In 48 hours though, or 48 hours since I, I rinsed it off, I have to go in with Cosmolon 2 
too. The instructions say to use it three times a day for a month. It has essentially the same ingredients that the Cosmolon 1 had. I think it's gonna be a slightly different texture. We'll see. But I'm supposed to wear this every single day for the next month and then move it to twice a day on the second month and just kind of go from there. Nina was thinking that maybe I should just use it twice a day when I start. I'm gonna check back with her on my skin and she might say, go ahead and use it three times a day. So I'll check back in in 48 hours to let you know how my skin's doing and to apply this for the very first time. But so far, easy, easy peasy. It has been 48 hours since I did the at-home Cosmolon peel, which turns out to not be much of a peel. You can see it didn't really do too much. At first I was disappointed. I have to admit that because I was like ready for this like immense, I, I, I put aside, I set aside two weeks where I was not gonna shoot any video content besides this to really monitor what was happening with the Cosmolon peel. And then I realized this is such a gentle peel compared to the MD version, which has the hydroquinone and the Retin-A and everything. And I realized this is so, it's so gentle. So I was a little bit disappointed because I also didn't see much of a difference with my skin. I see a little bit, but not a big difference. And then last night when I was washing my face, I start to realize I was getting a little bit of peeling, like not anything intense. It wasn't that like snake skin peel off situation, but I was getting a little bit of peeling. So it revived me a little bit because you know what I was thinking is this is something you can do on a regular basis, right? And so today I start because it has officially been 48 hours, probably a little bit longer today. I start the Cosmolon 2, which you're supposed to do three times a day. I'm gonna do it three times a day for the first month. And you can see it has kind of that same look. So I'm not really sure how that's supposed to go. Oh, like it really looks like, huh? Am I supposed to wash it off? Wait, 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 I'm a little bit confused. I'm supposed to put this on and then what? And like, let it be brown on my face like this? Wait, I'm gonna have to touch base with Nina, but I'm gonna put this on because it's a Saturday morning. So I don't really care if I've got a little bit of a tone to my skin this morning, but I don't know. How can you use it three times? I mean, how can you even use it two times a day for months <laughs> um, when it looks like this? So I'm not really sure, but this is what it looks like. It's definitely a thinner consistency than the Cosmolon one, but it has a lot of the same ingredients. And as you can see, it also turns your skin a little bit brown. Hmm, I'm a little bit confused. So I'm gonna put this on and I'm gonna wear it and I'm gonna send a text message to Nina and just ask her if I'm supposed to wash this off. Hmm. Not what I was expecting. Mm -mm -mm. If this is the case, then I'll probably only use it morning and night, leave it on for a little bit, then wash it off. Cause I'm not really sure how you're supposed to, or maybe I'm just using too much. That might be what it is. No, no, that's not what it is. I don't know. <laughs> now I'm confused. Anyway, this is what the Cosmolon 2 looks like. And I'm confused. I don't know. I can feel some tingle right away. Just so you guys know. I'm going to get back to you tonight in this video with more information. I just want you to take a closer look. There's no way I can do this and leave it on. What? You're supposed to put uh, the moisturizer on after. How, what? No way. Wait, okay, wait. You know what, let me do it the right way. Before I end this portion of the video, let me do it the way you're supposed to do it according to the instructions. So I just put this on my face. It's a dry, patchy, brown mess. This is their lotion. It has fragrance in it, but I'm gonna go ahead and use it just for the sake of following instructions, which I'm not good at doing all the time. Let's see if you put this on over, if it smooths it out. Okay. Maybe this makes it wearable. I was getting real confused here because nowhere in the instructions does it say to rinse it off. And that was starting to get really confusing. Not that this is much better, but it's better than it, it, what I was thinking. It looks like I have a tan, <laughs> which is so funny to me because that's the opposite of what I want right now. Okay, that's more bearable. So I'm not gonna wash it off. It's a little bit pilly though, just so you know, which I can deal with on a Saturday. But on a regular day, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to deal with this. We'll discuss tonight when I come back to wash it all off or wash off the day. Hmm. Look, look at the patchiness. Look at that patchy. Hmm, I don't know about this. And that's what, that's what I get for today, for this morning. I'll be back tonight. Okay, update, I talked to Nina via text and she says, yeah, this is supposed to just kind of be part of your skincare routine, Cosmolon 2. So I guess we're just going for patchy and uh, and pilly for a little while at least. So here I go again. I'm gonna try to use a little less because I think that might've been my problem. So I'm gonna go like this. By the way, my skin has been a little peely, which has been nice because all of this has kind of felt a little anticlimactic for me. So now I'm trying to see some really light peeling and that gives me hope that maybe I'm very gently exfoliating my skin. So I'm gonna try not to 
to let this completely dry down and go in with the moisturizer right away. I do have stuff to do today, so we'll see. It's just funny to me that this is how your skin kind of ends up. And it dries right away, by the way. But look, like my fingers are like brown orange. <laughs> like that's, that's what it does to your skin. It's brown orange. I'm gonna put a little bit of moisturizer. If you're not fast, it dries down so quickly. Anyway, so I don't think you guys need an update for a little bit. I'm gonna check in probably, unless something significant happens, I'm gonna check in, look at the two week mark and just uh, give you a before and after kind of look on my skin so you guys can see what's happening. But this is how I look. I'm gonna be wearing the Cosmo on two morning and night. And if I can't handle it being pilly, that was a little bit better. So putting on the moisturizer as quickly as possible will help a little bit. I'll see, at the very least I'll wear it at night. So I'll give you guys a little check in around the two week mark just to see if we see a difference with my pigment. Okay, so it has been a little over two weeks since I did the at-home Cosmolon peel, and these are the results. Like I said, the Cosmolon 2 that you use afterwards, they actually say to continue using it for the next three months. I actually stopped using it a couple of days ago because it was making my skin feel really sensitive. It was like a tingly kind of feeling. It wasn't getting really red, and funny enough, because the main ingredient is azelaic acid in the at-home peel, that perioral dermatitis that was starting to kind of pop up, start it to slowly go away. It's still a little bit red, but it, it kind of made it go away. So that's nice. I do feel like my pores look a little bit nicer, like a little bit more cleaned out. As far as the actual melasma and hyperpigmentation, I'm not really sure if I see a huge difference. Like I think my skin overall just looks a little bit better. I have some sunscreen on because I'm about to go work out. I wouldn't say that this was like this really cool, intense at home peel that I saw a huge difference with my skin. If anything, I almost feel like it was really anticlimactic because I at least wanted to see some peeling. I got like little flakies here and there whenever I was, you know, like washing my face at night. But besides that, it wasn't anything really dramatic besides getting that tingly feeling that I start feeling a couple of days ago. And like I said, I just, I basically stopped using the Cosmolon 2 and I'll probably pick it back up just because I did like the way it was making my pores look. That's probably the biggest difference is that I just feel like my skin texture is maybe a little bit more improved. But considering that you have to wear the first Cosmolon mask for the entire day and have all that stuff on your face for hours, for eight hours. I don't know if I would think that this is, this is worth it. Like, I don't know if I recommend this to you guys, if I'm being really honest, I wanted to, I wanted to be like, this is exciting. You can do this at home and look at this huge difference that you see in my skin. I don't know. I don't think so. I think if you're going to do Cosmolon, you just go full force. Though I, I say this and then I, I haven't really done it, but I almost say you just go full force, go to a professional, get it done in office, let them use the one that has the hydroquinone and the retin-A in it. Just really get the big difference that you get with your, your skin because this just, I don't know, I'd say it was anticlimactic. I liked trying it and I'll use the Cosmolon too again once my skin's a little bit less sensitive from, you know, just continuing to use it, but I don't know, it's all right. And maybe if you have sensitive skin, this is a really good peel for you, but for me, I don't know if I saw enough of a difference. A little bit of a difference. Texture, a little bit of better tone, but I'm like this with this one. What do you guys think? Tell me in the comments below. Find me on Instagram if you want to ask any questions. I'm at Susan Yara, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.